Hello, ladies. Let's talk through cardio, muscle mass, weightlifting, and so on. Uh, this is a question we've been getting a lot of how much cardio is the perfect scenario for muscle growth, right? And just for general health. Uh, so if you're not watching this in our Facebook group, make sure to head on over. It's called Macro Tracking and Weightlifting for Women. Uh, we share lots of free resources, education. We answer tons of questions. And it's just a place for you to get some uh, science-backed knowledge on training and nutrition without the noise of like fad diets, the industry, things like that. Okay, so today we're going to talk about, like I said, uh, how is cardio affecting muscle mass? Okay, um, so one thing, you know, digging into the research, just finding all different sources of what's everybody saying right now, right? Um, and what we've really come to the conclusion of is cardio does not uh, inhibit muscle mass or growth. Cardio doesn't cause you to lose muscle mass. It's your habits and boundaries around cardio, right? It's making sure that you're eating enough food, right? You, you need to be eating enough food to build muscle mass. Well, if you're doing a ton of cardio and lifting and all your steps, you just need to make sure that your nutrition is supporting your lifestyle demands and your training demands, right? In a deficit, the goal is to preserve your muscle mass. In maintenance, the goal is to build muscle mass. In surplus, the goal is to build muscle mass, right? Um, and so in a deficit, if you're not eating enough, naturally, you'll probably lose muscle, especially if you're not lifting enough, right? Because then it's like, imagine training your body 0.5 to one time per week, right? You'd probably see loss. It's like you don't, or uh, loot, what, what's that saying? You don't use it, lose it, right? So I see a lot of you guys coming on. So just to reiterate, uh, calorie, or excuse me, cardio doesn't burn muscle tissue. It's our habits around cardio, right? So the first point I brought up was making sure that you're eating enough. Uh, the second one is lack of resistance training. If you're, if you're doing, you know, your, uh, cardio to lifting ratio is like, uh, cardio five to six days per week, lifting twice per week, yeah, you might lose some muscle tissue if you lifted more prior. If you've never exercised ever, right, and you are doing cardio, sure, you might build some muscle because of the driving force of your leg. But you must have resistance training to build muscle mass because that's the intent. Running is great endurance training. Cardio is a really good thing. It just needs to have its place, and you need to make sure you have enough time for resistance training to have muscle mass, especially as you age, especially for bone density, uh, but also to look and feel great in your body, right? Because when you look and feel good from the inside out, it frees up a lot of mental capacity that you can put towards family, career, hobbies, whatever, um, and less time thinking about your body because <laughs> you just feel great and you're healthy and you're confident, right? Okay, uh, so here's the other thing though with lack of resistance training is um, your body goes in the direction of your lifting program. And I think a lot of women get stuck feeling like, okay, I'm nailing my nutrition. You know, I have good habits with sleep and all the things and I lift weights or, or I do cardio or I exercise. So I'm good. But then they feel confused. Like, why do I feel like I'm spinning my wheels? And it's just simply that your body moves in the direction of where you're placing volume, right? So if you're just training your shoulders a ton, accounting for a lot of diminishing returns, naturally your shoulders are going to grow. If you do less resistance training and more cardio, your muscles are going to go down because you're not using them anymore, right? Okay, cool. Um, amazing. That's that's just like ladies um, body pump. If you're familiar with Lesmo's body pump, it's a super fun class. I used to teach actually way, way back in the day. And then like physique shaping or bodybuilding lifting. Okay. If you're doing physique shaping training, you're building all this muscle, you're shaping, you're designing your body, and then you go do uh, body pump and you stop doing physique lifting, your muscle is probably going to go down. It's endurance lifting. It just requires something different than what your body or than what you want, right? Or what, what your body was before. Does that make sense? So I think you really need to focus on is like, okay, what is my training program doing? What, what are my workouts set to actually achieve, right? And then why so much running? If the running's like, I need to burn more to lose more, um, yeah, that may come in the way of building muscle. Why? Inadequate recovery time, right? That was the second point. So the first point was uh, 
lack of proper nutrition. The second point was lack of resistance training. The third point is lack of recovery. So it's not cardio itself that's affecting, that's negatively affecting muscle tissue. It's your habits around it. Okay. So the next point is lack of recovery. If your muscles don't have enough time to recover, then they are not, they, excuse me, then they don't have enough time to build right? They need to recover to build muscle. And so if they're constantly being stressed and constantly being worked without adequate recovery time, yes, that will negatively impact muscle growth, but it's not cardio's fault, right? It's uh, recovery's fault. Okay. Um, Now some women might say, but when I became a runner, I lost muscle mass. And it's like, yes, just because you moved where your volume was going, and your weightlifting volume decreased, which is what's building your muscle, and your cardiovascular volume increased, and that's not over there directly building muscle. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, there, okay, I'm like, I won't get in the weeds. All right, cool. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and share, and you know, here's the conclusion. Cardio itself, if I haven't hammered this enough, cardio itself does not inhibit Uh, muscle growth. And it's not the reason for muscle loss. And the reasons for muscle loss would be um, lack of nutrition, lack of resistance training, lack of recovery. And then um, oftentimes it's like what you're prioritizing in your schedule. Okay. Now um, we believe that cardio is great. We definitely love weightlifting because it's like lifelong health, right? Um, Cardio will suppress your appetite, which can be beneficial in a deficit when you're cutting fat because you don't feel as hungry. But at the same time, what's the trade-off, right? At the same time with weightlifting, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. And so it's like, it's worth the um, long-term benefit. Like it takes longer, but the benefit is greater, right? For lifting. You can still have cardio in your routine. It's, It's very healthy to have cardio in your routine, but I encourage you a minimum of three days of lifting per week like three to five days is really an amazing space to be. If your cardio is getting in the way of you doing at least three days of lifting per week, then it's it's likely that you would lose muscle mass depending on your starting point. Okay. All right, cool. Ladies, do you have any questions? Let me see. Let me check my notes if there's anything else that I want to share. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Because so many times people say, if you do too much cardio, you lose muscle mass. It's like, you got to know the inside, you know, that's why I, I was thinking today, I was really thinking about this and that's why there's information overwhelm or over overload. Right. And, and it's like, it's just too much that you don't understand. And the reason is because you're, you don't get the why behind it. It's just like, don't do too much cardio. You're going to lose muscle mass. And then that goes in your brain, but you don't know, like, Yes, if you don't eat enough. Yes, if you're not resistant training. Yes, if you're not really sleeping. There, there's so many components. Um, I had a client message me the other day and she said, you know, this person over here says, if I just keep increasing my calories, like whatever I eat, my body will maintain. What do you think about that? And I said, well, I understand what she's saying. You know, she's saying like, there is for sure a process that you can milk the crap out of and get your calories super high. But that's not what normal people are going to do. They're going to read that post and say, sweet, I can just jack up my calories. I'm like, if that were true, there'd be nobody overweight. You know what I mean? So when you hear a concept, like really ask and think yourself, like, do I know why? Why is that happening? And if you don't know why, find the reason why, because then that may not apply to you. You could be totally fine rather than being like, oh, shoot. Well, now I have this other thought in my head, like, am I doing too much cardio? It's like, wait, We just need to know the meat. We need to know the parameters of what's causing that to then be able to go make those wise decisions. Okay, cool. Have an amazing day, ladies. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful. My mom brain on a Friday, I'm like, I need a nap. (laughs) But I hope that was clear. And um, I actually have this written out. If you want to just kind of run down notes of this, let me know. You can just type in our cardio below and I'll shoot those over to you. So it's like a nice cheat sheet for you. Okay, cool. Talk to you guys later.